Hi, everybody. It's meteorologist Joe Chaffee on this Monday, and I thought it would take start with the look at the tropics, which at the time being, is uh, they're pretty quiet, with the exception, and you can kind of see it on the edge of the frame here. Uh, there's some uh, There's clouds and a little bit of a rotation as we have a disturbance that's moved off the African coast and passing east of the uh, south of the Cape Verde Islands and moving westward. Uh, this is a tropical wave and conditions are somewhat favorable for uh, some development over the next couple of days. They get a little less favorable uh, at the end of the week when it, it, the uh, system is going to probably reach uh, the uh, central Atlantic somewhere here. There's a little bit of, uh, of uh, strong or stronger upper air winds it's not horribly hostile but we'll see what happens and i just want to show you um to, today's weather models kind of hang handled the tropics a little differently now i don't want you to focus on the specifics so much in terms of placement but uh, just the fact that it actually has a low that it tries to uh, develop here on the on the gfs model is a little different from past runs and you can see it actually ejects another disturbance uh to the a west uh, as we go through the end of the week and this lead one winds up uh, on this particular run of the GFS just kind of rotating around the Bermuda high and then out but it does eventually develop it into some kind of tropical storm I mean I, you know I don't know if that's real or not uh, it also does show you know more activity as we move through the end of the month and developing a couple of systems here again don't focus on 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 the specific point because who knows if that's even going to be there we're just looking long long range here and you know models are highly volatile and highly subject to big switches so just want to put that out there that we could we may be starting to see uh, the seeds of a little bit uh, more activity now in terms of our own weather and we're going to go to the short range I just want to point out that we do have a risk of severe weather here um, for your uh, Tuesday and this is because this is a, we have a warm front that will be coming back up yesterday's weather system that moved through is uh, really very weak so it comes back up as a warm front and we have a marginal to slight risk of severe weather it's the storm prediction center showing a large blossoming area across uh, Pennsylvania and by the way let me put this in context that because if there's a risk of severe weather does not necessarily mean that that there's a certainty of severe weather just that the conditions are there they don't always play out according to plan we saw yesterday um, that uh, the thunderstorm activity, in spite of the slight risk of severe that was put up, really kind of underwhelmed, whereas on Saturday um, it was in reverse. So, you know, this is a very volatile day-to-day -day thing. And it, when they, the, all the risk says is that there's a chance of, does not say that they are, there is a certainty of. So let, let me just make that clear. And here's what's happening uh, with regards to that. Um, I'm going to just move this over here. So this is the, the GFS and the NAM are kind of the same. We are having a dry day today, um, ob obviously, and it does, even though it's going to be hot, it's a shade less humid. But we do have yesterday's weather front comes back as a warm front. I think that sets us up in a bit of, a, you know, sets us up in a warm sector here. And that's why the risk of severe weather. And then um, the cold front moves on through uh, early on Wednesday. So uh, Wednesday shapes up to be another day maybe like today uh, where it's a little less hot and a little less humid and then as we go through the rest of the week it just you know a lot of variability in what's happening there's a tendency for high pressure to build to the north so that might create a bit of an onshore flow and uh, keep the temperatures down a little bit more like 80s instead of 90s and then we'll see what happens as we go through the weekend uh, because the onshore flow kind of holds in uh, uh, through Sunday. So uh, let's uh, see how this all plays out. Don't forget uh, to uh, go to snsstormchasers.com for all your storm chasing needs and go to meteorologistjochaffee.com as well and weatherlongisland.com for your local weather for New Jersey, Long Island, um, for uh, southern New England, uh, the Hudson Valley, and eastern Pennsylvania. And um, we will, of course, uh, keep you up to date on all the latest weather developments as we go through the next several days. Have a great day.